Cement has become the go-to material for modern architecture and cement on its own is responsible for 8% of all CO2 emissions worldwide. There is a vital role for other materials like earthen materials and that has, apart from being part of the, the new solution, it has a huge tradition. I think it's a third of the population of the world live in buildings made from earth. Earth building in construction is one of the oldest forms, oldest methods of construction throughout the world. In Europe in particular and other parts of the world, cob is one form of earth construction. Around about the middle of the last century, when the building regulations came in, it meant that that form of construction was no longer a viable option for contractors. And that's primarily due to the, the lack of thermal performance, perceived thermal performance. With the Cobbage project, we're looking to sort of hit the building regulations and the thermal aspects head on. So we've developed this material that complies with the current UK and European building regulations for thermal performance. That in itself means it opens up cob construction once again to the contractors that have not been able to use this material. So with a cobos technique, what we do is we take that thermal mass and we use it to hold up the roof, but we also add an outer layer of light earth, which is a great insulator. And light earth just means taking a sticky clay soil and mixing it with some light fiber. So it's a bit like wearing a woolly jumper outside of your skin. You know, it's giving you an extra layer of warmth. The innovation in cobos is to combine those two in the same wall. That's, that's basically what it's about. I'm going to talk about the materials we've been using to make the wall. Um, ultimately, uh, we'll be constructing something that looks a lot like this. So on one side we've got the thermal mix, the other side we've got the structural mix. The structural mix is more or less traditional cob, and that's made of uh, local clay, local earth, and uh, that's mixed together to make your normal clay cob with uh, some kind of fibre. Now for the thermal side, uh, we make up a slip and you see here it's a, a very clay rich slip. It's actually made from the same soil as this. Uh, so it's the same material. So you can use the structural and the thermal is the, is the same clay soil. And with that we will mix this with uh, something called hemp shiv. Now hemp shiv is the inside part of the hemp stalk. And uh, here is a sample that we made that we We've already tested these in our heat flow meter, uh, which tests thermal conductivity. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to glue these two materials together. Now, depending on how much soil you put together, how much fiber you put together, you can get different properties. This is traditional cob. Very cray rich, about 2.5% fibre. And this is a structural material. You can get two megapascals as compressive strength from it. It will hold up a complete building. And there are uh, evidence of uh, places in Shabam, for instance, in the Yemen, where there are buildings which are five, six, even seven storeys high, made from something that's not dissimilar from that. So the building that's being put up in France is, in effect, a very small two-storey building. That particular building is uh, a pilot stroke de demonstration building, which ticks all the little boxes for people. It also gives us the ability to put sensors in the walls and scientifically prove things like drying out times. So it, all in all, you could end up with a modular package um, that was based on subsoil and fibre, which is uh, an extraordinary thought. The amazing thing about Earth is it's infinitely recyclable. When I go into repair a cob building, I literally take the old wall and stick it in a bath and re-soak it. And that piece of wall can go on forever. And honestly, what else is like? I mean, I don't know of anything else except stone that you can just keep using again and again. There's a, a romantic notion that perhaps you buy the land, 
you plant the land with the hemp or whatever uh, fibrous material you're going to use, you then mix the two together to form your wall materials. So the, uh, the localization of that wall construction in its entirety could come from the land on which you build your building. So the embodied energy that goes into building a cobweave building can be quite minimal. The carbon footprint of constructing out of cob construction or cob ocean construction will be far less than what would go into a concrete um, building or a building using more modern man-made materials. And I think that's certainly going to be attractive for a future generation, a generation that seems to be coming forwards and has a greater awareness of the sort of greener issues and sustainability.